All right, so from within our Git repo at fermion slash installer, we're gonna run the start script. Now this is gonna install locally all the all the uh, pieces and parts that we need. Now we do actually already have console and nomad locally installed. We just fetched them from the HashiCorp uh, websites. But then once that's once we get those up and running, uh, Nomad begins to schedule the pieces that are necessary to run the Fermion uh, platform. So we start by installing traffic, then we go on and install Bindle, and then after that we install Hippo, which is the web dashboard and UI. And once all of that is installed, then we have the full platform kind of up and running and can begin doing development. Now this part's gonna take about a minute, so I'm just going to kind of skip through this and pick things up again once the installation is done. All right, at this point, everything is installed and running. We've got some environment variables there uh, that help us connect to things. We're gonna start the Nomad UI as well, and we can see Hippo, Bindle, Traffic, all up and running inside of our Nomad cluster. Uh, and we can log into the Hippo dashboard. Uh, we can create a new account and add a password and confirm it, and then click register. And now we've got our new account. We're gonna log in with that account. And so here we should be able to see what applications we have. Unsurprisingly, there are none. So let's use those environment variables to set up our local development environment. And now we're gonna do a spin uh, new. And this is gonna scaffold out a new uh, Rust HTTP server for us. So we're just gonna kind of take as many of the defaults as we can, uh, CD into the directory, and we're just gonna build it. Right, because we already know that the thing we got uh, is a hello world script. We can start right away, uh, get it uh, to compile all of our uh, dependencies here from Rust, and then we're done. We've got a WebAssembly module. We can run spin deploy. Now spin deploy is gonna push that up into uh, the Fermion platform that we just installed. So now if I go back to the dashboard and refresh, there it is, and I've got version 0.1, uh, I can see uh, there's my 0 .0 0.0.1. I've got some logs, which are gonna be more or less empty right now. Uh, environment variables, I haven't added any environment variables, nothing in settings yet. Uh, but let's go ahead and click on this link here. And there we go, hello Fermion. So that's the output of our initial program. So let's look at that program in VS Code. This is the thing that spin scaffolded out for us. Here in the library, we can see we've got one HTTP handler. We're gonna change Fermion to universe. Save that, go upgrade our version from 0.1 to 0.2, and then we're gonna just rebuild it again. It'll go a lot faster this time and redeploy it again. All right, so it successfully deployed this out. It does usually take a moment longer than you would think to get everything all deployed, but we can see that 0.2 has been pushed up to the server, server's starting, traffic's reconfiguring the routes for us. Uh, if we refresh the app, we see we're at 0.2 now. Uh, if we look at the uh, version there, same thing. It says it's running already, that's great. Uh, and again, we can kind of see the, the logs, the uh, environment variables, uh, and now we can kind of go up there, click on the link again, and instead of seeing hello world, we see hello universe. Uh, so there we go, in a very quick amount of time, we've kind of scaffolded out our first application and got it running.